This is Smiles TV. another broadcast. We have a dynamic broadcast for you today. We'll be talking with Mr. Beta Manager, the founder and CEO of Manager Global Holdings. You don't want to miss this broadcast. Remember, Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. He was crucified and buried, and he rose on the third day. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead and thou shall be saved. Stay tuned for more smiles. Beta Manager, founder and CEO of Manager Global Holdings. Stay tuned for more smiles. The Smiles Television Talk Show wants to showcase your business, organization, church, and activities. If you have an interest in being a guest on Smiles Television Talk Show, or if you have any show ideas, contact Stephanie Anthony Miles at smiles tv 777 at gmail.com you may also call 618-741-3770 tell your friends to subscribe to the smiles youtube channel let smiles tv increase your reach remember you look better with smiles sandifer and associates llc is located at 708 west main street in belleville illinois the sole proprietor is attorney jocelyn sandifer Attorney Sandifer and her associates, Attorney Marche Belk and Attorney Cherie Davis, are powerful, caring advocates for their clients. If you need legal assistance dealing with child support, family domestic law, federal and state criminal defense, personal injury, or more, contact Sandifer and Associates, located at 708 West Main Street in Belleville, Illinois. They service both Illinois and Missouri. The phone number is 618-489-1234. Nominated and confirmed for his first notable board at age 21 for the Arizona Board of Regents, Veda O. Manager has long been respected as a premier strategist and business person. Before forming the Diversified Manager Global Holdings LLC, Veda served as Senior Director of Global Issues Management for Nike Incorporated. He was Principal Strategist and Board Member of Think True served with Levi Strauss executive team while serving as vice president of Powell Tate, now Weber Shandwick. He led a team to South Africa to assist in transition consulting with President Nelson Mandela's administration. Manager has an extensive background in business strategy with sports, corporate, and brand communications, including direct work with multiple governors and mayoral staff. Major League Baseball, the PGA Tour, and others. Manager served as Vice President of Public Finance Investment Banking Firm YSNP, now Wedbush Securities, and a Corporate Director for Valvoli, Finance Chair, Board Director for the Helios Education Foundation and the Foresight Foundation for Economic Equity. He is a frequent presenter of corporate strategies and issues. Veda has appeared on CNN, CNBC, ESPN, ABC's Nightline, NBC's Today Show, Sports Business Journal, and others. Manager has awards too numerous to name. He is a native of East St. Louis, Illinois, and a Hall of Fame alumnus of Arizona State University, with additional studies at the London School of Economics. Welcome back to Smiles TV. I have the pleasure of talking with someone who's from East St. Louis, Illinois, but this gentleman has traveled all over the world doing what he loves best, communicating strategizing and helping people work together beta manager beta how are you great to be here stephanie good to see you good to see you as well beta you know what you have such a wealthy background and while we were off the air i was saying i don't know where to start but let's start with your family and then we'll move from there to nike let's start with your home your upbringing tell us about your home in east st louis illinois well, it was uh, a fairly uh, conventional upbringing, Stephanie, where, but in some ways uh, somewhat unique in that, and really influential on me because very few people 
particularly in this day and age, get a chance to experience multi-generational living. We lived in a big brick house, kind of in the center of the city, uh, 25th and State. But on the upper floor was my great-grandfather, who I vividly remember watching Muhammad Ali fights and Elvis Presley movies with while he was in a hospital bed. On the middle floor was my great-grandmother and my grandparents, uh, and we used to work and service and help them. And then my mother was and I were on the main floor. So I just felt as an only child, I really got a great education about history, about the, the way life should be, religion, spirituality. And I just think very few people get that kind of multi-generational education. Wow. You um you actually your your father as well, aren't you? And your your husband. And yes, father. I am. Uh, father of five kids and um yeah, and didn't uh I'll honestly say didn't come by all of those um in the traditional way. My wife my wife had three, we added two together, but as I often say, anytime the refrigerator door opens and closes, it's always five kids. Okay. And um Baylor, now you were an executive for Nike for over 12 years. And as far as I understand, under your leadership, the company went from six billion to eighteen billion dollars in, in revenues. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Uh, amazing run of growth during that time, and now it's about a thirty-eight billion dollar company. So Nike continues to grow uh, due to the strength of its brands and products. Okay, and so you also have done. Before I say what you have done, I want you to tell me what was some of your, your greatest experiences. What would you count as one of the most exciting things that you've had an opportunity to do? Well, I would say, uh, obviously, being, as you noted, being a father and a husband and a son is clearly uh, at the top of the list in those responsibilities. I would say professionally, uh, being able to be invited to South Africa in 1990s to assist the uh, icon and Nobel Prize winner Nelson Mandela in his presidential transition and to help work with his cabinet as they began to transition from being revolutionaries and jailed uh, uh, advisors to running a government was probably one of the, at the top of my list of professional achievements. Because as you remember, that was a worldwide endeavor to get Nelson Mandela out of Robben Island jail and all the nations coalesced together to do that. So that was probably at the top of my list. I've met a number of great athletes like Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods and and uh, and Serena Williams and Venus Williams, but working with Nelson Mandela and his team was probably at the top of my list. Well, and in talking with you also, you seem to stress relationships and maintaining relationships throughout your entire career and life. How are you able to do that so well? Well, I was fortunate enough, really, in my early years, um, when I moved from East St. Louis to come to college at Arizona State University, uh, I, it was a, it really quite a change uh, for me. Uh, Arizona is a place that's probably, let, at that time, clearly less than about 25 to 3% Black. It's probably about 5% African American Black now. But I came here with some intentionality to really make an impact and to learn and to meet people Arizona is a very diverse place, great number of Native Americans, Latinos, uh, Anglos, and some African Americans and Asians. Uh, so I was fortunate enough at that time, uh, while a junior in college, to be appointed by then Governor Bruce Babbitt to be the student representative to the Board of Regents. So here I am as a junior in college in my 20s, sitting on one of the most powerful boards in the state with executives of utilities and one of the corners of the NBA Phoenix Suns and lawyers and doctors. And it was there in which I learned the skill of navigating boardrooms and building relationships, Stephanie. Wow. And, and you have not been afraid of reinventing yourself if necessary. So there are many who, who get on a path and they just believe this is what I have to do and I have to stay here, but times change and things change and we change. How have you been able to navigate the, the changes in your path from governmental um, advisors, since you've been an advisor in the government and, and um, business ventures, how have you navigated that change? Yeah, no, I think reinvention is important. And I've spoken about this in uh, many commencement speeches or alumni speeches, et cetera. I think if you're staying the same, in some ways you're losing. Now, I don't obviously don't criticize anyone who 
continues on a path and gets a specialty and becomes good at that specialty. Um, you know, I'm not disparaging that, but for me, uh, I didn't see government as a, an entire career. I think one of the most important lessons I heard from someone I work with in Washington, D.C., who was with the uh, President Jimmy Carter administration is that, and I think it was impactful for me and really put me on this path of reinvention, Stephanie, was we never thought President Carter would lose or we would lose the White House. And so they weren't ready for when he did lose to transition into another role, whether it's government or business or elsewhere. And I knew I didn't want to stay in Washington. And I turned down opportunities to join the Clinton White House because at that time in the late 90s and the early 2000s, the world was globalizing and companies were looking for individuals who could help them interpret all these changes in the world, globalization, manufacturing, what was happening in governments, uh, et cetera. So I took that opportunity to be that specialty. And I, I told President Clinton's team, uh, I love you all, but I want to get out here and get this craft and do this work first before you all get out and take all the great jobs. No, <laughs> another thing, that's a great answer. Another thing, um, Veda, in terms of the many boards in which you serve, can you express the importance of being on such boards and roughly how many do you serve? Yeah, I serve on a variety of corporate publicly traded boards and nonprofit boards, as well as community boards. So I think that mix, although it keeps me busy, is important because corporate boards, you have shareholders you're responsible to, individual pension funds, teachers that pay into their pension funds that want their investments to realize value. Uh, nonprofit boards are important because of the work they do in terms of education and serving in communities and furthering people's lives. And of course, community boards because of that very same reason as well. So I roughly serve probably on about six boards combined, Valvoline Inc. being the probably the publicly traded board that's regulated by the SEC. That's probably about a, it was a $6 billion company. We just sold a unit. So it's probably about a two and a half to $3 billion company now. Also chair as the finance committee board chair for the Helios Education Foundation. We roughly have about a billion dollars under management and we do education services both in Florida and Arizona. And then there's a variety of, again, of boards of Arizona State University and, and community boards that I serve on. Well, you know what? I know your time is short and we're going to wrap up real quickly, but can you tell us one or two things that growing up in East St. Louis, Illinois, helped instill in you to project your uh, future to the point in where you are now? Well, East St. Louis, again, was really fundamental and core to kind of who I am. Uh, I still affiliate with my church back there. My mother still lives there, so I come home often. And because I think of the experiences I had in the Black church, the experiences I had at the Boys and Girls Club, uh, playing tennis, something you're very familiar with as well. You learn teamwork and sports, and it's just a rich place for culture and relationships, et cetera. So, and also I felt very grounded in my African-American culture when I came to a place like Arizona, which did not have as much of it as we experienced in East St. Louis, I was very well prepared to go into the world and understand who I am and not divest of that. So I think East St. Louis was, again, very fundamental to how I was able to develop and, um, and really kind of grow as a professional individual. But one great example of that, Stephanie, was the only way I thought I would ever go to Vietnam, Not I didn't think I would go as a business person. I thought I would probably go as a military or as a soldier uh, because that's the way so many of us went to see the world. So when I went to Vietnam and some of my colleagues from Nike were with me, they were a little afraid or a little uh, reticent because they were uh, in a, a unique place and a place that had a lot of uh, terrible conflicting culture or history with the United States uh, because of the war. But being from East St. Louis, I was I was unafraid to walk the streets of Ho Chi Minh City because, you know, again, we come from a place where you learn how to deal with different people and that fear of other cultures or fear of doing things just isn't there. I understand that. One thing I will say that being from East St. Louis, I've always told people we learn how to deal with people who may be janitors to the president of the United States. We just get prepared like that. Beta, 
Thank you. Thank you so much for taking time to be on Smile Television Talk Show. One more thing. So when are we going to play some tennis? Well, I tell you, I'll bring my rackets back and I, I will keep some of my mother's house there in the East St. Louis Cokie area. Okay. Is there anything else that you would like to share with our audience? Sometimes we have a lot of youth actually watching the broadcast. Any words of wisdom that you would like to share with them? No, I appreciate the opportunity, Stephanie. It was good. I appreciate the opportunity to spend time with you today. One of the things I often tell youth is that always try to perform at your best because you never know who's watching and what that opportunity will lead to. I actually was able to get on my first life-changing board, the Valvoline board I mentioned earlier, not because I was able to put money in the pocket of the individual who was leaving the board in a business venture we were discussing. In fact, the business venture didn't happen between Manny Jackson and Nike. Manny Jackson, in fact, who grew up there in Edwardsville, Illinois, uh, who I served on his board uh, there at, the, at his center. But he was so impressed by the way we put together the meeting at Nike, we had the discussions, et cetera, that little did I know he went back to the board he was serving on and recommended me to be his replacement. And that was a life-changing experience for me. So what I took away from that, and again, often tell young people is that had I not performed well in that meeting or didn't have, wasn't on time, wasn't prepared, the numbers weren't correct, he may not have gone back and made that recommendation. So you always want to perform at your optimal level. Yes, sir. And I, I really appreciate you. We thank you. And those are great words to leave with our audience. And you, you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Mr. Manager. And what a great name. I have to say that, Beta Manager. <laughs> well, I've enjoyed uh, going beyond being a manager and being a CEO. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And I want to thank you for tuning in to Smile Television Talk Show. Remember, only what you do for Christ will last, and Jesus is the Lord. The Lord be magnified. Keep smiling. You look better when you smile. You're looking for an insured and bonded residential or commercial contractor? On Time Contracting, owned by Ali McDowell, is just a phone call away. On Time Contracting operates with the utmost integrity and quantities to complete your project right on time. Residential or commercial, exterior or interior, roofing, siding, flooring, you name it. If you want your project completed for the price quoted and at the time quoted, contact On Time Contracting. Good, quality, professional work guaranteed to be completed on time. Call 618-567-3591. No project is too large or too small. On Time Contracting. Call On Time Contracting today. My name is Sterling Moody. I'm the owner of Neighbors Market, 1005 North 15th Street, on the Echo Jazz building across from Emerson Park Metrolink stop. We have fresh barbecue Friday and Saturdays. We have Sunday through Saturday, open from 7 to 7. Look forward to seeing you in the store. IDEX Media does a lot. From IDEX Photography to IDEX Films. We help create forever memories and forever impressions. Image a nation. Image a world. IDEX Media. Awesome sauce. Yeah, baby. Mm. Well,